Properties of the trigonometric functions. We're going to be looking at the domain and range of the graphs and the periodic properties. First, let's look at the sine function. This animation is showing the graphing process of y equals the sine of x, where x is the angle in radians, using a unit circle. And here's the sine between 0 and 2 pi. The domain is all real numbers for sine. That is, this graph continues to infinity in both directions. The range is from negative 1 to 1. Here's negative 1, and here's 1. You'll notice that it includes negative 1 and 1. And here's a larger view of the sine function. Once again, the domain is all real numbers, and the range is from negative 1 to 1. Here's an example of the cosine function being graphed. And here's again the cosine between 0 and 2 pi. The domain once again is all real numbers and the range is from negative 1 to 1. And here's the cosine with a little more extra stuff to it, just like the sine. You'll see that the domain is all real numbers and the range is from negative 1 to 1. Here's the tangent function. Here's a tangent from negative pi over 2, which is 90 degrees, to pi over 2, which is positive 90 degrees. The domain is all real numbers except odd multiples of 90 degrees, or pi over 2. The range is all real numbers. Well, let's look at the tangent a little bit closer. The domain is all real numbers except odd multiples of 90 degrees, or pi over 2. So 1 times pi over 2 is pi over 2. And you'll notice that it gets really close to pi over 2, but it's never going to get there. Remember, that's the undefined part of the tangent function. 2 times pi over 2 is 180 degrees. It's not odd, so we actually have a point. 3 times pi over 2 is 3 pi over 2, and once again, it's undefined for the tangent function. And let's look at the cotangent. The domain is all real numbers except integer multiples of 180 degrees or pi. So 1 times pi is pi, and the cotangent is undefined at pi. 2 times pi is 2 pi. Once again, the cotangent is undefined at 2 pi, and of course 3 pi. And then if we go into the negative direction, negative pi, negative 2 pi, and negative 3 pi, and so on. The range is all real numbers. Let's look at the cosecant. Remember, 1 over the sine is the cosecant. In this picture, the blue graph is the cosecant. The domain is all real numbers except integer multiples of pi, or 180 degrees. The blue, we're looking at the blue graph now, is undefined at negative pi, 0, positive pi, 2 pi, and so on. The range is all real numbers greater than or equal to 1 or less than or equal to 1. And here's the reason why. Let me draw a little line here at 1 and here at negative 1. You'll notice that for the cosecant, there isn't any graph in between 1 and negative 1. That's where we'll find the sine function. The cosecant is above 1 or below negative 1. That's what the range means. Like the cosecant, the secant is 1 over the cosine. And once again, the secant is in blue. The domain is all real numbers except odd multiples of pi over 2. 
the secant is undefined for negative pi over 2, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and so on. The range is all real numbers greater than or equal to 1, or less than or equal to 1, and it's for the same reason as the cosecant. Here's a nice summary that comes out of some of the books. Periodic properties. We've talked quite a bit about this, but it's, but it's a nice thing to review. With a periodic property, the graph starts over every period. And if you're a hockey fan or a sports fan, every period the time clock starts over. And that's the same idea. So let's look at the sine function. The period for the sine function is 2 pi. We're starting here at 0, and it continues to 2 pi. And we know that's one period because at 2 pi it starts over the same graph. Let's look at the tangent. We're going to start here, and it continues up to here. Remember, it's undefined at negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So the period for the tangent function is actually just pi. Let's look here. Between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, we see it starts all over again. And once again, and the period here is the same. Every period will be exactly the same in that function. So for instance, the sine function, if the period is 2 pi, every part of this graph will have a period of 2 pi. In the tangent function, if this part has a period of pi, then every part of this graph will have a period of pi. Find exact properties using the periodic properties. Well, let's say we have something like the sine of 17 pi over 4. Well, what is that? Well, one thing we know about the sine is if we add 2 pi or subtract 2 pi, we're going to come right back to that same ordered pair. So what I decided to do was subtract 2 pi. Well, then I get 9 pi over 4, and, well, what's that? I did it again, and, oh, I get pi over 4. Well, the sine of 17 pi over 4 is the same thing as the sine of pi over 4. Well, we know what that is. That's the square root of 2 over 2. So the sine of 17 pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2.